Hey guys, today we are going to talk about skincare. I'm going to share with you a little bit of my routine, some tips and tricks, and we're doing it all bare faced. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're going to talk about skincare. I have some of my favorites lined up here, stuff that I'm using every single day, stuff that I'm using treatment-wise every single week, and these are, like, this is it. These are my favorite, favorite items. Um, check me out, no makeup. Let's just give a thumbs up for that. I thought it would be fitting to do this video with no makeup on to kind of show you guys I don't know. I mean, you see me in the beginning of tutorials without makeup, so it's not anything like that new. But I just want to show you guys that I'm comfortable without makeup. I put a lot of effort into my skincare so that I can feel confident out in public without my makeup on because sometimes I just don't want to bother. But I do really feel it's important to have a routine in the morning, a routine in the evening. Take that time for you. Invest it in you. You're worth it and uh, you'll have great skin as a result. Uh, consistency is key, finding the right products is key, and um, my one product here that is not actually topical is water, and I'm always a big believer in staying hydrated. That's like the number one skincare tip ever. So let me show you what I'm using right now. I have my Michael Todd Honey and Oat Cleanser. I have also tried the Charcoal Detox, and I love that one as well. Actually, I was using that one quite a bit. Uh, but I switched up to this one because they changed the formula and now it's really thick and gel-like and honey-like, kind of like the name. And this just really breaks down any makeup. You almost don't need any makeup remover for your eye at all. And just leaves the skin feeling really balanced and not dry. It's fine for acne-prone skin. It's fine for drier skin. So this is across the board, just a really, really great cleanser. After I've cleansed my face, again, this is both AM and PM, I like to use a toner just to get every little trace of dirt off, every little trace of makeup, make sure things are really clean, and I like the way a toner feels. So it's an important step for me. You don't have to do this. Uh, but I am loving still and have been for the past 10 months. This has been very consistent. I haven't used anything else. This is the Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner, and I love that it's antibacterial. This also has hyaluronic acid, which is going to pull moisture into your skin without adding a bunch of heaviness, oils. Like this is hyaluronic acid is my favorite, favorite ingredient for the skin. Um, really wonderful for combo skin and drier skin. This is like these two are very suitable for most skin types, and I love this. And then I use a serum. And what I am loving right now smells so bad that I can't even believe that I use this. It smells like burnt hot dogs, but you guys, this is like magic in a bottle. This is from SkinCeuticals. It's the Floritin CF Gel. It's a serum and a gel treatment. This is just gonna help any fine lines, hyperpigmentation, uh, improve cellular turnover to make your skin look more even, and I really believe in using some type of treatment. Uh, you can target whatever your problem is. If you wanna brighten your skin, get rid of pigmentation, add more moisture, you can always find some kind of treatment serum that's suitable for your skin and it's an extra five seconds in your routine and I really recommend it. So this is the one that I'm using. I love it, love, love, love it. And then I go on to moisturizing my skin or hydrating your skin. And in the summer months, I actually like to keep it really light. Oftentimes I will just grab for an aloe vera gel. This is from Ole Henriksen, but you can find something at your local health food store. You don't have to spend a ton of money on aloe vera gel. This just happens to be the one that I really like that I've used for like a decade and it smells good, feels good, I just like it. Um, so I use this if I am wanting to add a little color to my skin, which in the summer months I do put uh, some self tanners into my routine as well. This is the By Terry Sun Booster. This is a very pricey item, it is luxury, but I think it is amazing. It's a hydrator in a gel form and it has just a touch of sunless tanner in here. So when you use this morning and night, you start to see a really nice, lovely color on your skin that's not orange, it's just really perfect, and I do highly recommend this for anyone that you know likes to invest in luxury items for their skin. It is really, really amazing. So I love this. Uh, if you don't feel like breaking the bank, you can go to the drugstore and find Jergens Natural Glow. This is oil-free, this is perfect for the daytime. If you were to cleanse, tone, 
use a serum and then grab this, it has SPF 20 and that gradual tanner as well. So you're kind of hitting a lot of things across the board with this one. It doesn't make me break out. I really like it. Um, so those are the two kind of sunless tanners that I would recommend. When you're using these, there is no need to add an additional moisturizer, so keep that in mind. Super important step in your skincare routine that is often overlooked, your eyes and your lips. You want to hit both. I am really loving the Skin Iceland Relief Pen. Uh, this is kind of just a clickable pen. You know, you see the product come up like this. It's creamy, lightweight, really tightens and brightens the under eye, and I love it. And then I like to use my Iosonic um, to kind of press the product in, and that really plumps up those fine lines, and this is just like a wonder tool. It's absolutely amazing. As far as my lips go, because oftentimes people forget, you know, you cleanse the face, you do the eye cream, and then you don't do anything for your lips. If you keep a good intense balm in your medicine cabinet next to your skincare, you'll grab this and use it more often. So at night, I'll put on a little bit of my balm. In the morning, I'll put on my balm, and that way I don't ever get chapped lips, which is great. I want to quickly mention a product that is too heavy for my skin, but my mom is absolutely loving it, and she's seen amazing, amazing results, and I have seen the results, and I'm kind of blown away. So I thought I would mention the anti-wrinkle cream from Michael Todd. She way prefers this one to the new you, and what she has done is she's putting it on her arms, and brown spots, like sunspots, are completely going away. It is the wildest thing. I didn't really believe her over the phone, but I saw her in person. She's like, please, I need another jar of that. It's amazing. And yeah, she's using this on her face, neck, arms, and it's doing wonders for her skin. So this little guy is a little tub of magic right here. Let's talk about acne for a moment because even if you have dry skin or not acne prone skin, every once in a while you have like one big sucker that comes up or a hormonal breakout or something along those lines. Like, oh my gosh, I need, you know, some kind of treatment or something to dry this up, get rid of it. And what I like to do for kind of those big one bumps, you know what I'm talking about, I like to use benzoyl peroxide. And what I am loving is the advanced blemish treatment from Proactive, really gets rid of it, dries it out, makes it go away. Uh, this stuff is pretty awesome. If you have a hormonal breakout or you feel you're having like a bacterial breakout or little bumps on the chin, cheek maybe, what I like to do is take tea tree oil, which is amazing. It's very antibacterial. It really will help you get rid of those zits. Uh, I take a little bit on a q-tip, but I do mix it in with something else so it's not just applied directly to the skin. Take a little bit of aloe vera or coconut oil, uh, you want to kind of mix the two together, otherwise it can burn the skin a little bit. But this does really work. I prefer using these two together when I have kind of like a hormonal breakout instead of just that one big zit. Uh, so that's what I do. And then also, little tip for you guys, if you do kind of break the beauty rules because everyone's like, don't pick at your face, you should never pick at your face, let's say you do. Um, first, make sure you had clean hands when you did that. Ah, you don't want to get bacteria and make things worse. But if you experience any bruising, inflammation, what you can do is take a little bit of Arnica gel on a Q-tip, put it on the area, and it will help improve and heal the skin much quicker. I absolutely love this. Also great for just, you know, an occasional bump, bruise, whatever. This is amazing for your skin. My favorite scrub is from the drugstore. So this is a definite budget-friendly item right here. It's the Olay Regenerist Microdermabrasion Kit. It's a two-step kit. You do your scrub first, then you put the serum activator on top, and it kind of tingles. You rinse your face clean, and you feel like you have baby soft skin. A lot of people have said that this is a dupe for the Philosophy Microderm Kit, which is much more expensive. I've never tried, but I've repurchased this one over and over. I love it. It's amazing. Let's talk about weekly treatments. I happen to enjoy going the extra mile and I like a little bit of me time and I like putting on a face mask and I just like the way my skin feels after doing a mask. And if you have problematic skin, it's a great idea to you know, take that time once a week and do a mask, why not? My obsession is the Glam Glow. Ever since I got this, I can't get enough. Like I find myself wanting to put a mask on. This stuff is amazing. It really pulls everything out of your pores, but doesn't strip too much oil from the skin. Doesn't dry me out at all. I wish this wasn't so expensive. You like barely get anything. Look how much I've used already. Oh my gosh, I can't stand that it is so expensive. 
I did want to give you guys a couple other options in case, you know, you don't want to spend $100 for a face mask, which let's be honest, most of us really don't want to. I don't even want to. I kind of resent that I love this so much. So uh, we have two different tiers here. The Kale and Clay Detoxifying Facial Mask from Michael Todd is incredible. This one is just like very spa-like. It has a very spa scent to it. It does make your skin look amazing. This is great for acne prone skin. Really great if you wanna give an extra oomph to your zit cream. You can actually put this on top of it and go to bed looking a little crazy, but it's gonna help clear things up even quicker. And then if you're really on a super duper budget, the Mint Julep Mask is also really incredible. I've loved this one for a long time. The only thing I don't like about this guy right here is it is heavily fragranced. You have parabens in here. There's some yucky ingredients. So um, that's why I'm kind of leaning more towards the more organic products. All the Michael Todd products do not have parabens. They're natural, organic. They're really healthy for your skin. I found when I first started using them that my skin did purge a little bit, but then it cleared up and just became radiant, really even toned. So uh, those are my favorite clay masks. And then as far as like a radiance mask, uh, the pearl and silk, I didn't wanna leave dry skin out of the, the bunch. I have used this when I'm really dry. This really brings your skin back to life and smells so good. Uh, normal skin can use this, so I'm kind of combo. I can get away with using this occasionally if I am dry, but if you have really, really dry skin, it's gonna exfoliate and hydrate. It has kind of a pearlescence to it and it just makes your skin glow. You will have like a great skin day if you use a mask like this. All right, so that wraps this up. I hope you enjoyed kind of taking a look at all of my current favorite obsession products as far as skincare is concerned. That 20% off discount code for Michael Todd for an entire year is still active. So even if you're not gonna buy, just click on that and it will, you know, You'll have that code for a year if you want to later on try some of these products out. I was in the drugstore and actually cleansers are like eight, nine, ten dollars like they really do get up there and I just think if you spend just a little more you can get a more luxury item that's free of yucky ingredients and really will help your skin. Skincare is so so important. Oh my goodness it's like spend your money on skincare not makeup because if you have good skin you won't need as much makeup and then you can kind of wander around and feel comfortable without makeup even so uh i hope you enjoyed this thanks so much for watching guys i will see you in my next video Mwah.